the master of slick rock. The guy who doesn't write a check with his name that his act can't cash. And of course, the buzz. That's what they call him. Well, tonight, the buzz is back. And he's, in here. he's back in Australia, and he's back on our show. Ladies and gentlemen, Boss Cash! <laughs> How are you? Pretty good. How the last time I saw you in person, we were sitting at a... I don't know if you remember this or not. They had a, a sort of a, a supper, a late night supper for you. David Frost had it. And Sammy right. Davis Sammy came Davis in, and we were all here. sitting there together talking. And uh, it was that's you. Well, it. I guess that's, that's about... What is it, it for about, you? Uh, two and a half years ago. Two and a half. Yeah, I thought it was. Something right. like that. Yes. What a memory. <laughs> what a voice. I mean, does, does anyone ever comment that this man has a uh, very fine voice? It's the first oh. time I really... Thank you very much. Uh, you have no idea. Yes, yes, we don't. Uh, coming from you, that's something else, you know. No, I, I what about, was... You know, we wanted to talk with you uh, on the satellite about nine other things, but we ran out of time. Uh, most you of ran you some uh, weird ones on me on the satellite. Some questions? Some uh, left, yeah. Some, yeah. Some well, they weren't questions. bad. It was all stuff. See, most of the stuff I get is uh, I pick it up by this. We, we talked about the fact that this album's uh, the cover caused a lot of controversy, uh, mm -hmm. the middleman cover. We did that. But what we wanted to talk about was a blacker. Uh, evidently, you were in New York City when that blackout happened, when all the power went out. Yeah, that was about, uh, what, three or four years ago. Yeah. And you we were doing a concert? Be, we were in concert, yeah. Mm. It was... Uh, uh, it was at Lincoln Center, which is one of the nicer, you know, very conservative, very elegant theater, actually. We were about 15 minutes into, into the show, and uh, as happens, somewhat infrequently, but it happens, the power goes out. Mm. So the first thing you think is, uh, you know, there's a, uh, just a, a fuse or a main went out. But they, uh, the lights and the sound are on different mains. They never go out together. So uh, it went out. It was complete darkness. We looked uh, around and saw nothing, obviously. <laughs> the flashlights came out, and uh, we wandered around for a few seconds. I mean, seconds become hours, you know, on stage in the middle of a, a performance. Yeah, you don't know if anybody's coming at you either in the dark. You don't know exactly. Uh, yeah. You expect lights to come on, or it doesn't take long to recover from a fuse blowout. Hmm. But... Uh, it didn't happen. It was just absolute silence for a while. And you start going through all the changes in your mind. The audience is going through their changes, wondering what's happening. And uh, it goes through various stages. There's this stage of a sort of fear, yeah. and then there's a stage of, <laughs> what is this, some kind of a joke? Right. And yeah. then it goes through uh, a stage of, uh, uh, we're in New York. You must remember, New York has a particular kind of a, reputation, a reputation, yes, and volatility, right. and anything could happen. I mean, it could get uh, wild. It could get rough. That stage goes over, and the next thing we know, um, people start talking, they're laughing, and it's going on. We're in utter pitch darkness. Uh, Suddenly, flashlights appear. I've never seen. You wouldn't imagine how many flashlights there are. Um, uh, torches, you know, from people. Uh, yeah, yeah, torches. Yeah. You know, the room is you know, like semi-lit, and people are sort of getting up out of their seats. Not, no panic, sort of uh, apprehension, but no panic. And uh, this went on for three or four minutes, and the audience stayed very cool. And. Uh, after about five or six minutes of this, uh, these changes in the dark, you know, it became apparent to all of us. Someone, uh, one of the crew guys in the back had a uh, radio and had heard that there was, in fact, a total blackout of all of uh, Manhattan and all of New York. Mm. So we responded to that. Someone brought out some flashlights and we yelled out over the crowd that uh, it so happened 
that there was a free night three nights later in, the, in that theater. There was a dark night, and we told the audience to save their ticket stubs and come back, and we would uh, do a repeat performance the, mm -hmm. uh, that Friday night. Then everybody filed very orderly out of the place. The next Friday night, when it was time uh, to repeat the performance, everyone came back. There were I mean, <laughs> literally less than 100... Uh, no shows. Uh, no shows. People who had, I mean, mm -hmm. I take my theater tickets and I put them in my pocket and I throw them on the floor. But everybody had their tickets and went back to their seats and we did the performance as, you, as usual. Fantastic. It was a yeah. wild night. I guess, yeah. The second time around was probably even better for them, too, you know, uh, more anticipation, well, I was, suppose. Well, yeah, I mean, there was a sort of sense of humor about the whole thing the second mm. time around. Uh, yeah. Is that the, is New York City one of your favorite cities? Uh? Yes. It is. I think New York City is the most vital t city in the world. Yeah, the audiences seem to react uh, in a different way. They sort of, they're, they're, they are really particular or critical uh, or in the know, I would say. They're would say. wild. Yeah. New York audiences are just wild. I mean, uh, if if they take the time to come out and see you or whatever, I mean, they're there for a very special reason, and that is to uh, get off, to uh, dig it, and they yeah. just go crazy. Barbara Streisand did a Central Park concert there years back, I remember, and it was something like 100,000 people or something, I think, turned up. Well, I mean, you're talking about uh, Manhattan, which... I don't, I don't know how many people are in Manhattan. I mean, we could, well, I we could guess... It had to be four. Million? It have to be four. four. I was going to million? say three or four million. Yeah. So to call up a hundred thousand people is no big deal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I mean, everything's stacked on top of each other. I mean, the intensity and the uh, uh, just the general everything is intense, and uh, you know, people are stacked on top of each other. So it's hundred thousand people is very realistic in New York City. You're um, the tour out here now. Uh, what prompted you to come back on uh, on tour to Australia? Well, we always uh, kept our eyes open as far as uh, coming back here. I haven't been touring too much since I saw you last. Mm. I did uh, another album and then another album. My current album is called Middleman and I worked on that for about a year. And uh, I just haven't uh, been working too much. Mm. When I do work, or when, when we think about going out again, uh, Australia is uh, always in the picture. It was Probably the uh, the most pleasant, I mean, the most enjoyable, exciting tour I've ever done. Mm. Um, you said that the last time, in all honesty. It really you was. Did. You came and back from the I concert with sort of stars in your eyes. You may uh, think that I might say that uh, everywhere, but it was. Mm. Uh, Australia and Japan was, it was about a, a two month uh, uh, deal, and it, it was the most pleasant, relaxed. Audiences were terrific. Uh, it was just a very pleasant tour, so we always think about coming back here, and things work out. So well, I think, we you'll, have a, I think you'll have as good a stay uh, this time. I uh, think so. We, I didn't know, because uh, you just don't know exactly how to predict things, but we started mm. out in Perth last night, or night before last. How was that good? It was excellent. Good, yeah. You, know? uh, you just don't know. I mean, I have a new band, a new format, and you never know until you get on stage what's going to happen. Mm. Fortunately, uh, all things went well. The uh, the gods were with us, and whatever, <laughs> whatever, it was fabulous. I told the uh, no, right. no, you're right. What were you gonna say? You told I, I told the guys of the band last night after the, after the show and during the show, it was one of the uh, most enjoyable sets that I've ever done in my life. Mm. And uh, we have uh, what uh, three more cities to look forward to. So. We're off to a good start. You 